to the channel. Now I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, I thought that guy was dead. <laughs> I know we haven't posted anything in a long time and there was a reason for that. Our internet company has begun throttling our connection. We weren't able to upload any videos for a very long time. Uh, they'd all fail. So we dumped that company and went with Starlink. Starlink. And we should be able to start uploading videos again here shortly. Four or five days just camping in a different spot every night yeah you know try to plan a route but i mean it is what it is and you could discover something totally different and right and, you end up where you end yeah, up exactly and that that's the kind of trip that i like and it's fun on these trails oh yeah but it's set up to do that just that yeah i mean it's just it's just fun yeah i did you know custom front bumper because you know i wanted a winch and uh this is more integrated than like the mod the stock bumper with the big pop you know winch yeah. bracket on, on it, it still gives you a good yep. approach angle yeah i actually improved the approach angle actually and yeah. uh and it's really worked out nicely i love to see it dirty <laughs>
Look at my front end. What? That doesn't, that's not a dude that happens. What happened? What'd you do? Oh, you pull it off. The entire bumper ripped off. The Bronco steel bumper was torn off during a recovery attempt. I don't know what type of recovery was used. The bumper ripped out electrical wiring from underneath the hood and the Bronco could no longer be started. Mark appeared panicked. It was getting late in the day and he lived hours away. While one team tried to figure out how to get power back to Mark's rig, another tried to figure out how to place the Bronco into neutral manually so we could winch him out. Some help from our friends at Google, Mark figured out how to put the Bronco into neutral without power and we were able to winch him out. Neutral, <clears throat> yep, I'm in neutral. Okay. I contacted Mark later to see how he made out. He said once he was out of the mud, he was able to trace down the electrical issue and start it up, and he was able to drive it home. We're going to get out of here before something else happens. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment, and we will see you on the next one.